Apple recently dropped the iPhone XS and the XS Max. And one of the biggest questions that I personally had was how much better is the camera quality over the iPhone 10? The iPhone 10 was a great camera, but they talked about how much better the iPhone XS is. And of course you have a lot of marketing hype. So I want to put all of the marketing hype aside and compare these two cameras to find out what is the deal. But before we do that, let's just go ahead and run the sponsor. This video is brought to you by Colorware. With tons of color combinations for several devices, Colorware makes it easy to customize your tech. Whether you want paint or a wrap, click the link in the description to get started. As a bonus, use code TEAMJJC at checkout to save 10% on your next order. So on paper, if you're looking at the iPhone 10 and 10s, they're merely identical devices. In fact, a lot of people would probably think they're getting the same phone if they're upgrading from an iPhone 10, but there are some subtle differences within the camera that I'm going to go over real quick. For instance, the iPhone 10s and 10s Max have a larger sensor with larger microns going all the way up to 1.4, which is capable of producing better low light images. At least that's what Apple has stated. There's also the addition of smart HDR, which is supposed to work better than standard HDR, but not only for stills, but also video. Stabilization has been improved with the addition of software stabilization on the front side. Portrait mode now has the ability to use software algorithms and is no longer completely reliant on hardware. Also, you can adjust the bokeh or depth of field after you have taken the image, which according to Apple has to do with the A12 chip. Therefore, it's not going to be trickling down the line to the iPhone 8, 8 Plus or iPhone 10. There's also some other differences between these two phones, but I'm more interested in performance and image quality so let's go ahead and dive in to these samples, you beautiful people. When it comes to photos taken during the day with plenty of light, there isn't too much of a difference. What I gathered is that the iPhone 10 tends to control flares a bit better, produces better contrast in each photo, which also makes the images appear slightly sharper from time to time. However, due to the amount of processing going on that makes that contrast happen, as well as the sharpness, when zoomed in, even in photos with plenty of light, you could still see some artifacts. The iPhone XS tends to produce more flares, which can result in a washed out looking image, but still retains much more highlight detail due to the smart HDR feature. In fact, I'm just going to put this out there. The amount of dynamic range the iPhone XS is capturing is absolutely incredible, and it reminds me a lot of the Pixel 2. Images from the iPhone XS tend to have less contrast, however, are still very sharp and at times sharper than the iPhone X. Plus, the iPhone XS tends to have far less artifacts and noise in the darker parts of the images. The iPhone X produces darker blue skies, whereas the iPhone XS has a lighter blue gradient that almost appears like a teal and orange LUT has been applied to the images. Typically, the iPhone X lands on the warmer side, but it's honestly so close that I would say it's 50-50. One thing I noticed is that the iPhone X adds more magenta to skin tones, whereas the iPhone XS adds more warmth. For me personally, I prefer the warmer skin tones over the magenta skin tones, but I guess it's all gonna come down to personal preference. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the portrait mode performance during the day, which the results were quite interesting. Front-facing portrait mode images on the iPhone XS have better background separation since the bokeh can be adjusted. It also has better edge detection, meaning that it was able to separate the subject from the background just a little bit better. Switching things over to the rear camera, things really get interesting here. The iPhone XS of course crushes the iPhone X in terms of dynamic range, skin tones, and brightness, but at the same time the iPhone X tends to have better edge detection, but with less background separation. The rear facing portrait mode shots are very surprising to me. Apple talked a lot about how the portrait mode has gotten a little bit better with the iPhone XS and XS Max, and that you're able to capture more DSLR-like photos, but in my testing, the iPhone X actually was able to separate the subject from the background much better than the iPhone XS and XS Max. I'm thinking this has to do with the software algorithms used for portrait mode on the iPhone XS and XS Max versus strictly hardware with the iPhone X. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section as I'm kind of baffled by this. Moving things over to low light, the iPhone X produces brighter images with more noise and artifacts, worse highlight detail, washed out color, but overall that washed out color is more accurate. The iPhone XS retains incredible highlight detail, but at the same time produces a darker image overall. The sharpness and noise reduction are far better on the iPhone XS, while it also produces less artifacts. The images from the XS appear to have more contrast, but also tend to get a weird red cast over the darker green parts of the image, such as in the trees or bushes. The iPhone X also did this, but nowhere near as much as the XS. 
The sky gradients from where the light meets the darkness of the sky is also much better on the iPhone XS. Randomly, there was one photo where the iPhone X destroyed the XS in terms of being brighter, with less noise, artifacts, and producing more accurate and pleasing colors. Portrait mode in low light is another win for the XS, but it still has its issues. The 10 has a much brighter and sharper image with more contrast, however, it's filled with noise and artifacts. The colors tend to be 50-50 on the iPhone 10 when it comes to being accurate or just flat out unpleasing. The iPhone 10 S has much better noise reduction, bokeh rendering, highlight detail, and colors. The downside is the skin smoothing, sharpness, and overall, it's just a darker image. So that pretty much does it for stills. Let's take a look at the video recording capabilities of each of these phones, beginning with the front-facing video test. Okay, so this is a... This is a front-facing camera test. I'm looking at the iPhone 10 now. Lots of noise, so you can determine how well it's rejecting the noise. iPhone 10s Max over here. iPhone 10 here. Um, from what I am seeing, the iPhone 10s Max has way better dynamic range, whereas the iPhone 10 is just completely blown out in the background. Also, it's important to note that the iPhone 10s Max and 10s do stereo pickup in terms of microphone whereas the iPhone 10 does not. Also, stabilization. The iPhone 10s Max and 10s do stabilization on the front through software, whereas the iPhone 10 doesn't. Uh, so, let me know in the comment section what do you guys think. Switching things over to the rear cameras again, let's take a look at how each of these cameras handle 4K60, 4K24, and some 1080p slow motion. The iPhone 10s is much better at video recording versus the iPhone 10 in nearly every way. In fact, the HDR alone is a night and day difference between these two phones. I'll go ahead and hush and let you guys enjoy the rest of these clips. Let me know what you think down below. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, go ahead and drop this video a big thumbs up and then turn on those notifications so you can be alerted when that content drops. If you're new to the channel, stick around by subscribing and make sure to check out my iPhone XS and XS Max giveaway I have going on, which can be found at the card up top. And of course, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.